We're sitting here. This one's bought us quite a few beans and biscuits. <laughs> this man is uh, is your clock watcher right here. Tom, Hello. there's something about these characters that just lend themselves to you so well. It just fits with you and your whole look, the, the era, the kind of the character and the way the way that he is. I was wondering whether, having played Loki for so long, whether you kind of mastered this art of, of being good at being deceivingly bad. <laughs> um, I hope it's not the only thing I'm good at. Otherwise, uh, uh, I'm my, I think I'm in for a rough ride. <laughs> um, but I, I think I actually tried, bizarrely enough, I tried to make him different from Loki in lots of ways. Um, Loki is a character who, who enjoys, he's much more self-aware. He knows um, who he is and he knows his own power and his um, inclination is to mischief and playfulness. Um, he delights in chaos um, and, and willingly creates disorder. And Thomas Sharp is actually someone who's much more hidden, much more guilty, much more ashamed. And actually the experience he goes through in the film is one of a, a kind of awakening. As he sort of conf he confesses to um, to charges which he's guilty of, but but out of that confession finds a, a vulnerability and a courage which I think is very profound. Well, I went into watching Crimson Peak without realizing it's a horror because I like to just go in and and just enjoy the film for what it is. Sure. But I am not a big horror fan, um, and I spent a lot of time with my eyes closed when okay. there were ghosts on screen. Yes. Um, so I had to laugh when your character said, if you're uncomfortable, just close your eyes. <laughs> um, what yeah. do you do when you're uncomfortable? I probably go very, I go very still. I find myself stilled by, um, by that. I, I, I'm terrified of, of doing, of acting in a way that's rash or careless. Mm. You know, in a terrifying situation, I sort of, something happens where I just, I go very, very, very still and try and think about what the best thing to do is. Um, and then probably after the event, I'll be all over the place. Freak out. Yeah. Cool. And um, Edith's father said in this that you can tell a lot about a person by their hands. So right. I want you to have a look at your hands and tell me what they say about you. Uh, they, uh, there are a few scars on them. Um, <laughs> One from an old uh, rugby, an old rugby, a rugby stud from when I was a child. Um, they are—they're quite like my father's hands, actually. I think we, we, he has quite—they're quite big. I've got quite big hands. I don't know. I don't want that to say. That's a good thing, I think. And um, I don't know. What do you think my hands say about me? There they are. There they are. Look. I um, hold on. Let me just. Okay. They're not—they're not very rough. So. Okay. You know, you may be I've been doing some. I've actually been doing a lot of training. I've been doing some. Uh, I'm about to go and do uh, a new King Kong film called okay. Skull Island. So I've been, I've been lifting some weights. They probably get roughed up a bit more then. Yeah, I'm maybe. sure. Guillermo gave me a great answer, and he said his were quite rough. So that's a, a man who's lived. So okay. Maybe Did, you'll get there. Maybe Tom. I'll get there. <laughs> maybe I'll live one day. Thank you very much, right. Tom. Uh, pleasure Thank meeting you. you. Yeah.